Next Batman film will see Cedric Diggory and Edward Cullen. Can you describe their big love scene that they have in that film to me? More of an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roman Kemp, Sean Welby and Sonny Jane. This might be one of my best days in my entire career. I feel like this is a childhood moment for me. We're hanging out with two of the stars of The Batman. He turned down the chance to go to university to star in Harry Potter. Mm. She has the coolest dad in the world, putting my father to shame. It's Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz, everyone! Yeah! yeah! Woohoo! Guys, hello. Hello, how are you doing? So nice to see you both. Now, look, I, I saw the Batman. I'm a huge Batman fan, and, and I'm not going to lie. I've loved every minute of it. I was also pretty terrified watching this film. I mean, it's a proper screamer film, this one. Um, I, I did, whilst watching it, we were thinking about everything afterwards. Whose partner do you think, you know, out of the two of you, whose partner is going to be more scared watching this film alongside you? Is it going to be Channing Tatum? Is it going to be Suki Waterhouse? Who's going to be the biggest screamer out of that? I, I was the biggest screamer. <laughs> I watched it by myself the first time I saw it. I'm like, Jesus. This I was is also, actually... That first moment, I won't spoil anything, but that first moment is yeah. really scary. Especially, and I even though he'd done the movie, and I was like, I've kind of, I'd sort of forgotten what, had ha what happened. It's also scarier than I thought it was going to be. It's way scarier. Yeah. And kind of just simple things, even though like everyone's seen the kind of Riddler's costume now, so mm. it's not really a giveaway. But like when you think, when you break it down, you're thinking like, He's got cling film on his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got the thing. And like, in reality, you're it's like, very... that's not that scary. <laughs> <laughs> but you see it in the movie and you're like, yeah. I you're like, oh my God, he's got cling film on his head. No, like, when you're able to watch a movie that nightmare. you're in and still be scared, it's like, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Different oh, game. We love to hear all this behind the scenes stuff as well. Like, Robert, I know you're close with another superhero, Tom Holland, of course. Now, mm. we've we've read this brilliant thing about his mum who had to call the Spider-Man producers because he couldn't go to the toilet in the whole Spider-Man onesie thing. So I just wondered it, how difficult... <laughs> what? <laughs> his agent or his manager? Or his <laughs> was he actually in the toilet when this happened? I mean, this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was trapped in there. No, but I just wondered, you know, obviously the suit is, is quite epic, but did you have any issues with that at all, your end? Well, when Rob's mom called, <laughs> she called, like, right? like, uh, No, like, it's weird. Like It seems like I didn't... Because I found out doing press for it that... Michelle Pfeiffer told the same thing to Zoe saying like, you know, the, and Christian Bale told the same thing to me, but like, you know, the first thing you need to figure out is how to go to the bathroom, which made me think as I was thinking about it, that they must have had some have, have have experience. <laughs> um, but no, I, I didn't have any problems. But that's but because we we were warned. I'm really good at going to the bathroom, though. We I'm were, good at we the were, We were warned by previous people, so I think you were, we were mentally warned, prepared. Yeah. One, of my, one of my number one skills is going to the bathroom. It's on the CV. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I have to ask, uh, because I and I think the rest of the world uh, would love to see your Catwoman with Harley Quinn, okay, Margot Robbie's. Is this going to yeah. happen? Have conversations ever taken place about this? No one's mentioned it to me, but honestly, you know, making this film was intense and difficult, you know, shooting through COVID. I think we're just happily surprised that we made it through this one, but um, that would be very cool. I think her version of that character is so badass and fun and I would, I would watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we all would. Yeah. Uh, Zoe as well, it's not the first time you've played Catwoman. Obviously you, you also played Catwoman in the Lego Batman movie. So from DC to Marvel, will you be reprising your role of Mary Jane in the upcoming Spider-Verse sequel. That's what everyone's asking. Oh, you know what? I, no one's asked me to do that. Oh. So I guess, I don't know. Would you like to? I have to call Chris and Phil and see what's mm. up. Um, I would love to. I, I love those guys so much. And I think um, the tone of those films is so special and, and funny. And I would love to do that. It would be. I would be <laughs> Phenomenal. Another per another person though that, that has now made the move from from DC to Marvel. You mentioned him a moment ago, uh, Robert uh, Christian Bale. Obviously, like you know, he, he's he's had the role of Batman for a long time. How did that? that obviously, you said you've spoken to him. How did that first conversation go between the two of you? It's like a meeting of giants being like, "I'm passing on the baton." I mean, it was all of about thirty seconds. Really? <laughs> oh. the toilet. But he was very very nice and uh, uh, the Batman nod. Yeah. We were actually at, we were next to each other at a year and all. And that's why he brought up the... Uh, this is why the toilet chat yeah, the came toilet, up. Yeah, yeah, the, the toilet, yeah. The toilet chat. He looked at you and you um, thought, this. you think this is hard? You wait, you <laughs> wait for it in the Batman suit. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even going to yeah. make that joke. Christian, Christian, Christian was sitting there. 
butter fingers <laughs> could not figure out what was going on. Oh I'm my like, god! And I'm like, do you need a hand? And he's like, oh, thank god. <laughs> 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 but have, has, have you spoken to have you spoken to any of the other like like you know actors that have played Batman or, or did you just want to go in this you know kind of just wanting to make this your own? Um, yeah, I mean, I grew up watching the movies in the cinema, and um, and you know those performances are so massively iconic, and they you know I've I mean it's strange to have done imitations throughout your life of different performances <laughs> of the same character. Um, and that you know, there's so much a part of your memory. And you know, when I was watching, especially like especially the Nolan with Christian's version of it, um, you know, it's it was it was such a cultural moment. Like, I mean, and I have no absolutely no concept of it, at one point playing that character. And uh, you know, it's it's kind of, it's almost difficult to try and figure out something new and try and get out, you know, uh, how much influence it's had over you. Yeah. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, like it's kind of you just you everyone's added their own touch to the character and you just hope you can kind of add to its legacy. Hey, well I think I think you've both absolutely smacked it out of the park on this one. I I I really did really, really love it. And um and and look, I know Robert specifically w- with you, I know that you like to play with the truth sometimes in some of your interviews. <laughs> I, I've noticed. Up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's quite a lot of fun. Look, we, we, we love to do it here as well. We're a radio show that we try and make as fun out of everything as possible, right? Yep. So what I thought we'd do, right, for the final part of this interview, we're going to ask you some questions and we want you two to completely make up lies for your answers. Okay. Okay. So we'll start off with, uh, with this one, shall we? Uh, Robert, I heard a rumour uh, that a sequel to The Batman is already in the works. I assume uh, you two are ready to reprise your roles. Uh, but who will be the baddie and who will they be played by? Yes. Well, it's obviously... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I think we're talking to Meryl. About the- mm, Meryl yeah. Streep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, She's going to play Two-Face. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Meryl Streep is Two-Face. we're really excited about, you know, let's yeah. just... And um, who was the other person? Again? And uh, who are we talking to? Uh, Don't you remember? Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course. Uh, the Leprechaun. The <laughs> Leprechaun, of course. Okay. That's it, yeah. Fine, moving on to the next one. Robert, following the success of your three of your biggest films, the next Batman film will see Cedric Diggory and Edward Cullen as a cameo. Okay, can you describe their big love scene that they have in that film to me, please? Mm, the love scene, mm. of course. More of an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, say, I don't know how much love is involved. Mm. More, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Quite vicious. Yeah. <laughs> vicious, vicious. <laughs> Zoe, Very Zoe. Vicious and orgy in the same sentence is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, obviously we're really impressed with how you got into the, the role of, of Catwoman. We we know that you trained by living in a cat shelter for over eight months. Um, <laughs> can you just tell us a bit more about that whole experience? Well, I really wanted to immerse myself in the environment of cats. And, you know, I think I was really thankful that, you know, Rob would come to visit me and he would change the litter box. And that was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. So, so, so that was really, yeah, you know, but, you know, I, I, I'm I'm dedicated to my craft. And, mm. You know, I do what I have to do to get the job done. Oh, fantastic. Hey, fantastic. look, you guys, you're so honest with your answers. We love it. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and honestly, from us, and this is not a lie, I can say this safely, we have loved the movie and we, we really do think you've done a great job. Uh, that is all the headlines, though, that the world needs that... Um, <laughs> Robert Patterson changes Zoe Kravitz's litter tray. Yeah, lovely. Um, great, we'll go write those up for clickbaity articles. Thank you, and, guys. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, let's hear it for the stars of the Batman, Robert and Zoe, everyone. Yeah! yeah! Go, go, go!